that's shot to me than what I would have introduced. I mean, we can kind of hear we don't get what I want to say that. So, Sean, please. Sure. And may imagine me talking. <laughs> These are the words of Edwin Torres. Thank you for coming to a special night here at the Poetry Project. <laughs> artistic director for her excitement on the phone when I called her about this in the fall. The headlines, the news, the incredible range of catastrophe that continually overwhelms the airwaves. That's what got me thinking about this. Can poetry really address the ravage of humanity? And hasn't it always done that? The questions led me to the classic texts, the epic poems, the times we live in. Poetry's job is to present portals, openings, ways to live in, whether sensible or imagined. By involving some of the brightest stars in our poetry galaxy, we can see what happens to our perceptions of poetry, of humanity, of interpretation. Through theirs, what does it mean to be contemporary during these epic times? I'm thankful to the artists for their time, vision, incredible talent. We had a fabulous night last night and tonight. We should be equally immersive and here to guide you all along this epic journey Brave soul to lead the way, Sean Cole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's evening two of Epic Now, Epic Poetry for Epic Times, a benefit to support the Same Arts Poetry Project. I want to, to thank Stacy again. Stacy's amazing. I think we should all be here. Based on Descent of Aled by Alison. 